All right, in today's Canva tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make custom Canva frames using Affinity Designer 2. Now this is a custom frame I just created. If you don't know, frames are just like placeholders. They're shapes where you can just place images in them. So if I go to photos over here and I just pull a random image, I can just place it in and it will take the shape of the truck. So I had an idea when I went to make this project and this is my idea. I went to create a Fabrica, I always say it wrong. And I went to their little free section and this is the graphic that I decided to download and use. When you download it, make sure you export all the files and then open the EPS because Affinity Designer 2 can handle EPS. Just to go over this real quick, when you go to this website, you can go over here to freebies and then you can go down to one of these and then you can find something that you want. You can even do this with text. I just wanted a shape, so that's what I'm using. Now anyways, let's go over to Affinity Designer 2. So when I open the EPS file that I just showed you guys, this is what it shows me, okay? The problem here is it came in as a bunch of different curves. I don't want that. I want this to be all one vector shape. So in order to make it all one, all you have to do is pretty much combine it together. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything. I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to click add. You can also use the shape builder tool for this and it will do the same thing. I think I missed a shape. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to reselect these two layers and I'm going to click add. And now you can see over here that it is indeed one shape. I'm going to go ahead and rename this because if you export it, then it's going to have a weird name and you're not going to know what it is. So we don't want that to happen. Secondly, I'm gonna go ahead and go up here to window and I'm gonna make sure stock is selected which I just docked over here in my layers area and then I'm gonna pull an image out of here place it on top of our graphic and it's going to load really slow there we go <laughs> it's because it's a very big image so because the image is so big I'm just gonna hold down alt and wait no is it control? I'm gonna hold down control and accidentally hit the caps lock key. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, we're just gonna resize this so it covers the whole truck, but it isn't such a big file because we don't want the file size to be outrageous. I'm gonna take this image and I'm gonna drag it into my truck layer so that it becomes clipped to the truck itself, as you can see, perfect. And there's a couple ways that you can export this. Now I'm just gonna do it the easy way. I'm gonna go to file export. You can use the export persona to do this as well. So I'm gonna go up here to file. I'm gonna go down to export. I'm gonna change this. It, I think defaults to PNG. What you want is a PDF because PDF will keep all the information. Whereas if you save it as a PNG or a JPEG, it's just gonna flatten it down and Canva's not gonna know that you're trying to use this as a frame. Anyways, select PDF. Once you export your file, you go to Canva and you click create design and you go import file. Once you import your file, it should show up under your recent designs. As you can see, it brought it in exactly as it was shown in Affinity Designer. You can delete the image here or you can just drag an image in like this and we can see it works exactly the same. Now if you want it to actually look like a frame, you can delete the image in there or detach it, whichever. But as I can see here, there is a pink outline behind this frame. Sometimes this happens. Make sure you check behind the frame and then just delete that leftover image. Could be the way that I created it, but just double check and you shouldn't have any problems. So we're gonna resize this and then we're gonna actually double check. Looks good. We can control Z that. Now, these frames don't work like Canva's frame. You're gonna have to either copy them with control C or right click and copy and then paste it into your designs or you're gonna have to open the project file every time. What I'm gonna do or what I did previously is I made a folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, save the folder and then I have a frames folder and then I hit save and you can go to your folders and you'll see that frame folder there. Anyways, that's pretty much how you make custom frames for Canva using Affinity Designer 2. And if you made it this far, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.